Hey everyone, um, I wanted y'all to meet Tony Woods. He's running for Congress, uh, running for the seat that will be vacated by Ellen Tauscher. Yeah. And uh, I think our readers will be very impressed by you. So Tony, introduce yourself to America Blog. Yeah, I am uh, Tony Woods. I'm a fan of America Blog. Thanks for having me. Um, I am born and raised in the 10th Congressional District and I'm back home in California running for uh, running for that seat. Ellen Tauscher is going to be leaving pretty soon. Uh, she just got it's getting confirmed pretty soon here. I'm um, fighting real hard to make a very clear case to uh, the voters of my district that they can elect a person who has lots of life experience, is going to bring new urgency to really old problems. And, um, and that's why I'm excited to be here. And Tony, um, tell people your history that you would be the first member of Congress who actually got kicked out of the military because of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. That is correct. Um, I went off to West Point, did a couple deployments in Iraq. Uh, I was uh, getting a graduate degree at Harvard, and uh, I made a decision that was really pretty dang tough. But you know what? I said, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm, I'm tired of lying about who I am. I'm going to take a stand against a policy that I don't believe in. And, um, and I was discharged from the military under Don't Ask, Don't Tell in December of 2008. And how long did you serve in Iraq? Uh, I did two deployments to Iraq, and I'm very proud to say that one of my greatest accomplishments in life is bringing all 81 of my soldiers from both of those deployments back home safely. And uh, Tony, um, a lot of our readers have been following very closely the controversy that uh, ensued after the Obama administration filed that DOMA brief. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in it. Um, I worked really hard to help get President Obama elected, and, um, you know, that, that is not uh, what I expected. And so, but that's what my campaign is all about. It's about sending people to Washington, D.C., who have lived the fight for health insurance. I didn't have health insurance for the, almost the first 18 years of my life. I fought in Iraq, a war that I disagreed with, and I'm experiencing, um, you know, what it's like to be discriminated against in my own, own country. And so I think we need to send more people to Washington, D.C., who have lived these fights firsthand, who understand what it feels like, and can um, ensure that we actually get the change that, we're really, that we really want. Great. Thanks a lot for stopping by.